Hey guys, I just want to explain this real quick and brief for you so you can get on with your, what you're trying to do. Um, so what the heck are quantum numbers? Basically, quantum numbers is a numbering system on how to describe these words. Does that make sense? It's like a GPS. Okay, so imagine a guy named Tom, right? Tom's an electron. Hi, uh, Tom. Okay, and Tom lives in a house, which would be this orbital. And that house is in a city, and that city is in a state. Okay, I've highlighted these down here to correlate with uh, the shell, the subshell, the orbital electron spin. This is the quantum, these are, these are the quantum numbers right here. Uh, these aren't numbers as in, you know, like... Um, three apples or four uh, donuts, whatever. They're just numbers as in like the address on your house. Okay, so N refers to the energy level. L refers to the shape and M subscript L refers to the orientation in space of the shape, okay? And these right here, they just use half, plus or minus half, or plus half, just to denote that they are opposite they're really a half of nothing. They're just opposites. So this denotes for the electron spin. So this is your quantum numbering system or address. All right, and if we go down here, we'll see Tom. Tom's hanging out in his crib over here. All right, so if we go here, we'll just go with N. We'll say N, our energy level, is 2. All right. L is going to be the subshell. Okay. Our subshell is P. Remember, P is just the shape. And then we need M sub L. And M sub L is going to be one of these. It's going to either be this one, this one, and it turns out to be this one right here. Okay. And remember, M L is plus or minus L, your shape. So whatever L is, so basically, if N is 2, L is n equals 2, I'll change colors here, n equals 2, so the equation for L, L equals 0 to n, so our n is 2, so it's 0, 1, 2, okay, and our ML equals plus or minus L. L, the greatest number, is 2, so we just do plus or minus all of this. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, okay? And so what this would describe so what this correlates to is all the possibilities. This correlates, this is the energy level, remember. This is all the possible shapes that it could take, which, remember, they correlate to each other, quantum numbers and, and uh, the shell and the subshell. And basically, this is the S shape. 
this is the P shape, this is the D shape, and so on and so forth for three, four, and five. Um, and then what this what this correlates to is how many possible possibilities there are. Well, we know that we're in a P subshell, so we only need minus one, zero, and plus one because it's plus or minus, plus or minus the L term. So if you look, all the possibilities, negative one, zero, and plus one, we have that right here, negative one, zero, and plus one, all the possibilities. So Tom's address, so Tom's address is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p. Now Tom has been found. He's right here. So just remember though that only two electrons can occupy one orbital at a time. That's why when you get to the twos here, you, you move on. You have to move on. So, and that's the poly exclusion principle. So this one, there's a plus half electron and a minus half electron, and same thing for here. And then there's probably a an opposite uh, Tom right here as well. So, well, that's uh, that's basically. Um, what the heck are shells? What the heck are subshells? What the heck are orbitals? The Pauli exclusion principle and uh, quantum numbers. I hope to help out, guys.